Hello everyone, welcome once again to our channel, AMK Diaries. Today, living in this system of things is not an easy thing at all. Whether you've been to school or not, it's not an easy thing to get a proper job to do. But here we have with us a very young man who has been doing a broom weaving business. Here is the case. He couldn't make it so much in school, but he has tried to do something good for himself. His name is Mr. Francis Kublenon. He's going to tell us a story about how he started his broom weaving business and how far he has gotten to. But before we join Mr. Francis Kublenon for the conversation, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share for other people to enjoy. Now join us as we go to Mr. Francis Kublenon for the conversation. Mr. Francis, thank you very much for joining us on AMK Diaries. I am very much grateful today to have you uh, share with us your story. In fact, I'm very, very much happy. Now tell me, who is Mr. Francis Kublin? Who are you from? My name is Kublin Francis. I'm a Ghanaian coming from Bota region, a small village called Ohavu. Uh, age a O H A W U O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H A O H they call the place Apo. I went to that place. I went to work with some man, some old old man. When I get there, the man is doing broom. Mm. Mm. I stay with the man like one month. The man is doing broom, this kind of broom, doing it. If you do it, he went to the market, sell it. If you come, they bring money, he bring food, he buy food, I eat. Right? I don't have any money. So if I went there, he do the business like that, I help him to go and sell. What, if like if you, if they go sell, they will buy it fast, fast, fast. So I decided to follow that business, and I follow the business up to now. I like the business. That is why I choose the business. I choose to do it here. Okay. I like the business. So that is the reason why you came why. all the way to Accra here to do this broom weaving business. Yes, sir. That's very nice of you. Like so it. how many years have you been into this work? Mm, almost twelve years. I almost started 12. 2013. 2013. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very nice. That's very nice. That's 2013. How do you manage to get your raw materials? I mean, the broom, the sticks and all that. How do you manage to get them? Uh, as for the broom, I go to market to go and buy it. After that, I go to the deep bush to go and get the stick. Wow. Uh, to come and process everything. That is all. So you do everything by yourself? By myself. The peeling and everything and all that? Yeah. Before you can do the broom? The broom. Wow, that's great. So do you have any factory or workshop? No, I didn't have any factory. I'm just using Lego Bush. This is the place I'm working. Oh wow. Yeah. So you live in this uh do I say forest? Forest. Oh bush here. Yeah. This we going forest here yeah, as your workshop. Yes sir. Oh that's so amazing. I know definitely. Before everybody can venture into a business, especially in a crowd here, you need to get yourself some money. Can you tell us, how did you manage to get, I mean, the money you start, uh, the, the money that you start with, and how much was it? How much money did you use? Easy. <laughs> it's not easy. It's only 50 Ghana bags. The way I 
suffer the fact that they have to Wow, this is seriously. Okay. It's not easy for me to How do that. How did you get it? The time I came first in Accra here, mm -hmm. I went to people in my house. I begged them to wash their car anytime, every morning, every evening. Sometimes we did, I'm going to knock their gate. They open there. I say, they say, what, what happened? I say, oh, I need work to do. They will give me work to do. Sometimes they will give me weed. I do a, I get it taken out. I decided to leave that work to join my book business. That is where I get money. So what did you use the 50 series for? Did you use it to buy broom, the sticks, or what? I what used, used to buy broom. You used to buy broom? Yes. Where did you get the broom to buy? Market. Which Dome market? Domi market. You went to Domi market yes. to buy the broom? Yes. Sometimes I went to Medina market. Wow. So, <laughs> but yeah. that one, if you don't wake up early, you won't get a broom. Oh, you okay. have to wake up okay. Get a okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. So it means after you got out 50 CDs, you went, you went to the market, market to get yourself a broom. broom. Okay, to do to start, start a business. Business. Yeah. Okay. That means with the skills, I have my you already skills. had the skills. skills already. So I'm planning to find money to do it. Oh, that's great. Yes. That's great. All right, Ghana and then Magic City. Uh, everybody has a story to tell. And our man too is telling us he also started his business with 50 Ghana City. That's yeah. quite interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. How many brooms were you able to produce without 50 cities during that time? Um, those times, uh, okay, okay, it's uh, 20 brooms. Those times, 20 brooms. You were able to produce 20, 20 brooms, brooms with a 50 Ghana Yeah, 20 brooms. Oh, wow, that's great. So, uh, so as we speak right now, how many brooms can you produce within a week? Almost 200 brooms in a week. In a week? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that means week, 200 brooms. Yeah. And let's say we have like four weeks in the month, right? Yeah. So 200, 200, 200, 200, four. Making like 800, 800 brooms yeah. within a month. Yeah. Oh, then you are making a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you sell them? Oh, as for me, after the broom, after the 250, uh, so, uh, Friday, Wednesday, okay. I sell uh, 125 room Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Saturday to the same, 125 room. Wow. So, I mean, yeah. That means, for your calculation, it means you do like 300 room. I can do it. I can do it for, hey. sure, for sure. And you take them to where? Market. Some, okay. Sometimes I will tie some of them to walk around. Mm -hmm. After that, then I send the rest to the market. You tie it, walk around, around the market. Yeah. Sell them. One by one or in bulk? Uh, sometimes one by one, sometimes in bulk. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Francis, don't you feel shy to no. see the young girls and the women in the market and you, a big man like you, uh, carrying uh, this broom on your shoulder like this in the market? Don't you feel shy? No, no, I can't feel shy. I'm doing my business. Yeah. Yes, I'm doing my Please business. Please tell me something. What actually motivates you? I mean, my focus is my life, my future. Yeah. Yeah, my future. Because I don't have any future right now. I have to work hard. Maybe I have kids. I have two girls. In the village, they are going to school. My plan is that I have to support them. You see, to send them to school. Mm. Yeah, to send them to school. So, so that future, maybe there will be something better for me. Oh. Maybe if I grow old, they will look for me. They will, they will take care of me. That's right. In the future. That's that right. is why. Well because That's right. in a crowd life, no. I'm, I went town, I passed around, I still like, I still like, I still like. So as for me, because all of my uncle advised me for a crack year. He tell me about a crack. He can't stay a crack year almost 35 years. Wow. Yes. He always advised me. Avoid, my, avoid myself into those drinking, those things, uh, smoking, yeah, women. Those yeah. Because the way he told me about in life, he stay a car for five years. Coming back home, he didn't get anything. Mm. Yes. Mm. So anytime mm. that my uncle giving me only about those things, so I'm listening to my uncle every day. You always listen to him. Yes. Mm. I don't want to enter any trouble. I don't want to enter any trouble. That's a serious. So I'm a focused person. A focused person. Yes. Yes. I'm a focused mm. person. Yes. yes. You, you also person. you also said something about your sleeping. Yeah. That you sleep on a bench. Hey, yeah. this is something serious. Can you, how, how do you manage to sleep on the bench? How do you do that? <laughs> you ask a question. You know. <laughs> if I remember this thing, I nearly cry. Mm. Yeah. The bench is a small bench, but 
Only sometimes, if I want to sleep, I get, I get small plywood like tree. Mm-hmm. The bench, I'll turn the bench like this, then uh, I'll use the plywood to cover the back. Mm. Yeah, and uh, coil, I get coil plate over there. Mosquito coil plate. Mos- mosquito coil plate. I have matches over there. Mm. Uh, then I will light. I will light down like this. I, I wait. I get so to wear because of the mosquito. Mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have sauce over there. I have long sleeve too. I have long sleeve. So sometimes I sleep one way. One way. One way. And that's the question I was about to ask you. Don't you get injured? How do you feel? Your your sideways like that? It's not easy to sleep one side. Sometimes. Hey. Sometimes if I sleep, then I come. I come down. To sleep on the floor. To stretch my body mm. before I can get my self normal. Oh. Sometimes I will turn to different side, so it's not easy. Mm. Yeah, it's not easy. Oh, that, that, that means that easy. means that means you are, you are you are really suffering. Yes. Sometimes really I, nearly, suffering. I nearly cry. Sometimes. Oh. Yes. So would you would, would you would you um, would you would you mind if you can uh, help you play with the public? That if maybe somebody have a place somewhere. Within uh, Legon and its environs here, a place that he can at least give it to you or help you without a room or something to take, take uh, sorry to take care of his house or something for him, so that he can be sleeping in that house. So he can also get your peace of mind to continue doing this your business. I would like that. Like I would like that. Mm. It's a very good question. Yeah, I like I would like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Are you married? Do you have yeah, children? Yeah, I'm married. I get two girls. Hey. Yeah, one is faith, one is blessed. Oh, nice. Two blend faith, two blend, yeah. Oh. Right. As I'm talking to you right now, I have two girls. That's nice. Yeah. But it's my faith. Faith is something where I like, I, I need faith to do something. So anytime I tell my mom, if, we, if she born, I will give the, uh, the girl, the, if it be girl or boy, I will give her faith. That name, I will give her. So me, I need faith. I need faith. That is why I give that name to my, my, my small girl. So you came, you came to know that yeah. in life. Yeah, you need to get faith. Faith, you have to get faith. Any movement. movement, yes. You have to be serious too. Not that I'm be blessed. 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 That so, means God bless me. That is why. Yeah, God bless me. Yeah, that is why I, I give uh, that name to the other one. Too. God bless me. That means you have your main reason why you give them those names. Yes, yes. Faith and blessed. Faith and blessed. Okay. I give my faith. Okay, so you you are living. Here in Accra right now. Yes. How do you manage to, uh, you know, see your wife do the thing to give birth? How do you? How do you? How oh, do you? as for that one, the uh, I cannot say that. In that 2013, my woman prayed. She born. She born three months before I came here. As I'm coming, self, I didn't tell him that I'm coming to Accra. I just ran liver. I ran liver. Yeah, I ran liver. So as I came, I hold my this thing. Uh, that uh, that something we call them. Uh, a partner, you, you use babu duam. You put this, you put broom inside it before you touch it. Okay. I carry them from village like hundred uh, thousand five. So as I'm coming, I know here a long time. So as I'm coming, I drop in uh, atomic junction. I walk from atomic junction to here. Mm-hmm. So I carry, I carry that, I carry that, uh, that bamboo. I hold up on my head. I they walk, I they walk, I, de- I reach here. There's nobody here. That time there's no road. The bush is thick. So I enter the bush like that. People shit. I enter there. Also, I'm looking place I can work. I'm looking place where I can work. So I watch here, I watch here. I see people go toilet over there. So I sweep the toilet out from the place. Where I drop it, I say, well, I work here. So I start the work over there. As I start, maybe if sometimes I do the bull like 30, I carry them, I walk through, around. They will buy it. So I say, yes, the thing will go. So I started small, 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 small up to now. Mm. Yes. Let me hear you, man. Yeah. So you came to this bush, because even now, that is 2014, well, 2024. 2014. You can even see around that the place is still bushy. Yeah. So compare it to the, uh, uh, comparing it to uh, 2013, it means this place will be more, even bushy. Deep, deep, than deep, deep, deep. That means you, you are a very brave man. So what okay, what you said? You said you came you could be Muslim without even telling your wife. My wife no. So at that time your wife was already pregnant. No, she she gave birth. Oh she has already she given birth before you three months before I left him. I didn't tell him. Okay. So as I I leave him, 
Oh, I'm here three months. That time, I know I didn't get place to sleep. Sometimes there's a fitting shop over there. I sleep the car. Mm-hmm. Fitting shop. Yeah, yeah. The other fitting yeah, shop yeah. over there. The other, the other yeah, I sleep there almost three months. After that, there is school. You see the Hachi uh, Community School? Yes. I, I sleep there almost four months. Wow. I, I sleep there almost four months. Because anytime if I sleep there in the night, I see people, boys will be coming there smoking with so they they bug approve for the place or oh, so mm-hmm. I, I, from there I moved to the, the other side before here. But why didn't you join them? No, 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 no. I cannot smoke. You cannot smoke. No, 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 no. Okay. I cannot smoke. Oh, that's nice. So oh. from there, when the, the the whole place was fenced, fenced yes. you need to move from there to where? Back back to my former place. Your former place, place yes. Where the uh, the fitting shop. The fitting shop. Yeah, the fitting shop. Okay. Yeah. So you were sleeping. All oh, the cars, the car yeah, the cars, yeah. yeah. I get my mosquito spray. Mm-hmm. So if after the, everybody close, then I spray inside the car to cool. There's more than another I enter the car. I sleep there almost six years, four, seven years before they moved me. Recently, yeah. like almost two years, and I come here. So that they shed under, I'm sleeping right now. Okay. Yeah. So that is where you sleep now. Yeah, right now. Mr. Francis, you are really, you really uh, suffer. Because from there, husband. from there to the time I leave my wife, people will be saying that, oh, your husband, you ran leave you. Oh, that man, forget about that man. They are telling the woman like that. Oh. That is what people were telling you. Yeah, oh, that woman, you left him. Yeah, I left him. Oh, that Sorry, man, you left him. Yes, I left that. Oh, they should forget me. I'm not a good person. Oh, I'm a weak smoker. Mm-hmm. So I'm here three months. I go back. That three months, I work, I get 1,008. That time, that 2013, you know, yeah, I focus, I work, I get 1,008, that three months. So that time, I didn't get a uh, mattress. I didn't get television. I didn't get uh, in, fa- in my village, farm. I didn't get, so I sleep raw, like that. So as I go there, into, uh, uh, as I wait, go there. Wait, wait, wait. You were, you were not having all these things. No, no, no. you were able to break a woman. Yeah. How did you do that? Well, you did you go to her house or? <laughs> <laughs> and hey. the time I hear this girl. I was dirty. You were making up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So you've been able to um, have a, a wife, wife and children. Yes. No. So I, I want to know. I want to know. Mm. As it stands now, if you want to, if you meet them, how do you go there? How do you go? If you when yeah. and how do you go to them? Right now, or that, 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 I mean, right, right now. now. Oh, yeah, as, as I'm here right now, some I, I'm here, then sometimes I'm going to visit them, I come back. You go and visit them? Yeah, that's what I, I do now, yeah. So that means anytime you meet them, yeah, you then I come. Yeah, I'm going to come. Oh, okay. yeah. But this uh, 200 rooms that you are able to work within the ma- uh, week, can you please tell me, if you don't mind, how much money do you make out of these 200 uh, rooms in a week? Oh, between 800,000. Wow. Yeah. That means, if I, if my calculation is right, that means within a month, you can make like 3,000 to 4,000 cities. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a lot of money, you know? Because people with white color job in Accra here are not even making that kind of money. So if somebody who couldn't make so much in school is being trying to make, this kind of money out of room weaving business. That's quite interesting. So how do you do with the money? Do you squander everything or have you been have you achieved something out of the this uh work? Oh big man, how can I chop <laughs> this money, the whole money? Plenty money, how can I chop the money? <laughs> I've done something inside this money. Really? Yes. I get two houses inside this. this two work. houses. Two houses. Where where, where, right. where are they? They're my village. Two houses. Yeah, not a cry, a village. My goodness. I cannot lie to you. Wow. Yeah. That means it's another story. Bro, we have to go and, and look at our houses that he's talking about in the village. Yeah. That, 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 will, that, that will come in the party, right? Yeah. You will definitely try and go and see the house. Yeah. Okay. Not that alone. Okay. I have football team. Mm-hmm. I support them with JCs and footballs. Sometimes the school children, I mean, know me, I didn't go to school. So if oh. I have to support, sometimes I support school children. Oh, wow. yes, not only down. That means you have a very good heart yeah. for people. This is very interesting. People like this, upon all his educational background, he tried to extend his helping hand to the poor. Oh, 
Mr. Francis, you are, you are doing extremely well. Thank you. That's very nice. That's right. very good. Before um, we go to our last question, please don't forget that we are still having a conversation with Mr. Francis Kubleno, popularly known as School Fees, who come all the way from Ohio in the Ketu North District, the voter region of Ghana. We are still on his conversation with his broom weaving skills and business so far in Accra here. Remember, he made mention of being achieved some things like two major houses in his village. We will accompany him to his village to show us whatever he has been able to achieve from his broom weaving business. So please, still don't forget to stay tuned as we still bring you uh, the additional verse. But before we go to his village, let's ask our final question here. You know, uh, I want to know, do you cook or you always buy from outside for the look of your surrounding here? Yeah, I cook. That is, that is the place I cook. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I have my saucepan over there. I have my bowl over there too. And that's my salt. My salt. And, and that's my salt too. But sometimes if I get tired, I went to the market to go and buy food. Yes. Oh, so that means not every time that you buy from outside. Yes. You try to also cook. Yes. That's very nice. In fact, this your story is very interesting. And I know many people will love to share. Like I said earlier on in the intro, don't forget that this channel you are watching right now is AMK Diaries. Exploring the beauty of Africa and nature is our hallmark. <laughs> Before we, like I said earlier on, before we go to Mr. Francis Kublenos' hometown to bring you whatever he has achieved in this village, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share, comment, and let other people to also enjoy. My name has always been AMK Prince. Thank you.